Did you know that you can track the success of a mass email campaign sent from Zoho CRM if you're using the campaigns feature? This feature is often overlooked in Zoho CRM. Therefore, I am going to show you how to create a campaign, send a mass email, then track the conversions from the email campaign. But first, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. The first thing I would like to point out is that Zoho CRM has a feature called campaigns. That's what we're talking about today. There's also an application that Zoho offers called Zoho campaigns. They are different. They are not the same. However, you can start a Zoho campaign from campaigns, which I'll show you in just a second. Now we are going to create a campaign. We're going to click on create campaign. And this is where you can either choose Zoho Campaigns, which is the other application, or you could do Zoho Survey or Offline. Zoho Survey is also another application. We're going to do Offline. That's just going to keep this entire campaign within Zoho CRM. So you're going to name your Zoho Campaign, or I'm sorry, your campaign, <laughs> and choose the type. We're going to call this an email type. The status is that we're planning it. The start is going to be today. The end is going to be today. Let's going to let's just set some numbers here. We're going to expect a revenue of five thousand. We've budgeted five hundred dollars. Um, the actual cost can be entered later. This is just so that you could track that the revenue that came from your campaign. It's helpful because it will allow you to see what's working and what's not. Um, your expected response, how many numbers are sent. I'm just going to put the number three here uh, saying that I'm going to send out three emails. So out of three, I expect to get 5,000 back. That's basically what this is saying. I'm going to save this. All right, so now this is my campaign. This is a little section that will show you how many you've um, you've added, which we haven't done yet, the actual cost, the revenue, and everything that comes from this campaign. Here are the details of the campaign that we just entered. And now we're going to select a few contacts to add to this. This is basically saying these are the individuals we're going to send this email to. So I'm going to add contacts. Okay, I definitely want to add Let's do one, two, and three. Okay, again, the status is planned. You've got some other options, and also this list can be changed. All right, so we have three contacts, right? I am going to send an email to all three using a template. I'm just going to choose this template here. It's going to come from the main organization email. Okay, sent. All right. So now we can see all three of them here. If I choose to select this contact and I go to the email section, I will see that email that went out. I can see the status of that email, which is sent. All right. So what I'd like to do next is show you how. First, I'm going to open that email so that you can see. OK, so I've opened that email and now I'm going to refresh this. I can see here the email was opened and if I hover it'll tell me what time. So that's a really nice feature to have. Next, I would like to show you how to create a deal for that contact. First we're going to create a, a campaign. So we're going to click on campaigns, create campaign, there are three choices here. You have Zoho campaigns. Like I said before, you can create that from within the CRM campaigns feature. 
Uh, there's also Z Zoho Survey and then offline is everything else. So if you would like to do any type of campaign, whether it's you know trade show, webinar, doesn't matter, uh, we're going to use email for this one and we're going to call it mass email campaign starting today, ending today with the status of planning. We're going to expect a revenue of five with a budget at cost of 500 and we'll leave the actual empty. We're going to send this to three contacts, right? So this is basically saying we're expecting an, a revenue of 5,000 out of the three that were sent. No. All right, now we have created our campaign. These are the details we just entered. This section are the, where the stats will be. And then, of course, everything else is down here at the bottom, like the attachments, activities, and anything associated with this campaign. Next, we're going to add contacts to this campaign. So I'm going to go to the contact section. I click here to get there faster. Everything is on the right. And then I'm going to add up those three contacts that I said that I would. So let me show all of the records. Let's do those three. Again, the status is planned. And now we have our three contacts. This is saying we're going to send this email to all three of those. So we're going to click on those, send email. And actually, I'm just going to click on the one because it's going to send an email. OK, it's coming from my org email. This is the template that I'm using. Email has been sent. OK, so we're pretending we send it to all three. We only send it to one. Now, if I were to go to this contact and the email section, I will see the email that was just sent, which is this one. OK, I see the status as sent. Now I am going to open that email. So I just did. Now I'm going to refresh this so that you can see the status change. Now I see that it's opened. If I hover, it will tell me what time. I want to make sure that you see that feature, that you do have the ability to see when the email was received, sent, received, opened. Now what we're going to do is create a deal for that contact so that we can track the deal. It's going to be associated with that campaign. OK, so I'm going back to campaigns. I'm going to go to the campaign that I just created. And so these are the three. I am going to create a deal. So click on that. Name the deal. This is going to be for the account successful solutions. OK, and the contact is me. I'm going to put the closing date as today and I'm going to put the amount of 3000. Okay. This is already associated with the correct campaign because we created the deal from the campaign. So we'll see the campaign source as ma mass email campaign. And everything else is fine. We'll just save that. Okay. All right. Now, we don't see this automatically here because in my system it goes into review whenever you create a deal. So I'm going to go in and approve this so that we can move it along. So I have to I have to approve the amount and the date. Okay. Going back over to campaigns. I will see that now there's one deal associated with this campaign. If I go here to the stats section, I see what's in the pipeline, right? So although this deal and the, the reason why it's showing six is because I have two different ones in here for 3,000. So it's showing a total of 6,000 in the pipeline. This is the beauty of this feature. You'll be able to see exactly what is in your pipeline as far as the revenue amount or the the uh, 
amount and then once those deals close you will see the revenue also if you had an actual cost associated you could go in and enter that so you can see how much it costs for you to make that amount of revenue with however many leads or contacts you added to the campaign you can add either leads or contacts or both to any of the campaigns so as you can see here those uh, you can add leads here and then we added contacts here all right guys that concludes my tutorial on campaigns inside of Zoho CRM. Enjoy that feature, use that feature. Of course, you can use it for any type of campaign that you put on for your business and you can track how much that campaign has made you. It's really useful and it's right there inside of the CRM. Thank you all for listening. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And remember we have um, an ebook which you can find at howtobuildacrm.com that will get you started on how to build out your system, your Zoho system. That's a free download. Click on the link. It will download right then and you can use that to get started. Also, we have our learning site which is at learn.successfulsolutions.com. It's called Successful Learning. We would love for you to join us there. So until next time.